what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you missed the last video we had some issues with the block i started measuring all the clearances out and piston to cylinder clearance was like double what it should be i was shooting for around two thousandths and two of the cylinders were almost four thousandths so i brought it back and they're going to try to find me another block in the meantime we got to do something so I got a bunch of parts behind me that we're going to do some powder coating, some serra coating, get these freshened up, get these things looking brand new. So this is what we're starting with today. Now I do have to bring the timing cover back to the machine shop because they bolted on when they cut the deck so that the top of the timing cover is nice and flush with the top of the block. So I probably won't coat that quite yet, but we got to do oil pan, valve cover, all these little pieces, the little fan pulley, harmonic balancer. I am retaining the heater, so I'm gonna be running that. I am gonna coat that dipstick. We got a brand new oil pump and water pump that, I don't know, I decided I am going to Cerakote those. So I just wanna do something cool, kinda of do a cool color combo. So first things first, the first color we're gonna run is water pump, oil pump, valve cover, and all these other brackets, oil pan, the timing cover, all that's gonna be a different color. So we're gonna start with one color at a time. So let's get this stuff, I'm probably just, obviously we can't take this water pump apart. So this is gonna get Cerakoted. Now I do have some air cure Cerakote that doesn't need to bake in the oven. So we're not gonna fry that seal. All this stuff's gonna get Cerakoted. So we're gonna have to take the oil pump apart, get everything nice and cleaned up, get everything masked off really, really good for these pieces. I do not want any sand anywhere. So we gotta make sure they're 100% clean when we're done. So we gotta do a good masking job for the sandblaster. And then we gotta get the valve cover in the parts washer. This thing is disgusting. I got this from actually a buddy of mine and it's just been sitting in a shop for like 10 years. It's completely disgusting. So we need to get that cleaned up, get that blasted, and then we can do some coating.
All right guys, we got everything sandblasted, set up, and ready to start coating. So this is what we're doing. We're doing Cerakote burnt bronze on the water pump, oil pump, and valve cover, and then the other stuff's gonna be black. So if you've never used Cerakote before, this is an air cure. Now they have an air cure and an oven cure. The oven cure, obviously you have to bake it to cure it. This is an air cure, so it cures over like five days. Yeah, it does take a while to cure, but it's a one part formula. All you do is shake it up really good. You gotta shake it for a few minutes. Make sure it's 100% mixed up and then you just dump it in your gun and spray it out. So I just got like a little mini HVLP. It's a 0.8 tip. That's what you kinda wanna use for this product. Now this stuff sprays really good. It's a really thin coating so threads you don't have to worry about threads it, it's not thick enough to really mess up your threads like powder coat will so threads are just fine they say one to two coats so i think well on some of these parts that are kind of they have like a lot of edges and kind of corners i'm going to do two coats on it just to make sure we get full coverage if you guys are interested in any of this cerakote i'll drop a link down in the description where you can find it now cerakote kind of actually started out as mainly in the gun community with people coating their gun parts just because it's a very strong coating and most importantly it's very very thin coating so when you're doing like a barrel or a slide you don't want a super thick coating like if you powder coated it your gun wouldn't cycle so Cerakote that's kind of where it started and now it kind of has run into the automotive side and a lot of people are using Cerakote for automotive as well so you could really honestly use this on anything metal I'm not sure if you can paint plastic with it but I know metal anything metal sandblast it coat it with Cerakote and you're good to go you get a nice strong thin coating
All right guys, there we go. Everything is looking good. We got everything coated that I wanted to get done. And I gotta say, it is looking so good, especially this valve cover, this is a burnt bronze, like I said, matched up with the red, the billet on there looks freaking amazing. I really, really love it. And then we'll have burnt bronze here with the timing cover is gonna be this black color. So it'll be black block, black timing cover, and then some bronze accents on it. I think that's gonna look really, really good. I'm so excited to get this motor together. Now you can see there is a little bit of a color difference between the Cerakote and the powder coat. This is a matte black. This is called Glacier Black, which it's just kind of, I don't know, I, the best way I can say it is that Cerakote kind of looks silky, especially this bronze looks kind of silky. It's a little more flat, not quite as like dark, dark black. Either way, the nice thing about Cerakote is it's super thin. So parts like this where it's gonna have the belt running on there, yeah, eventually the belt probably wear the paint off, which obviously not a big deal, but I wanted to put that on there just for that. And then also the timing cover, I'm going to do the same color. So I wanted that to match. Also, yeah, I know I'm very unprofessional about these but I was just curious I didn't even really clean these things I was just curious if this this Cerakote is gonna stay on these mounts without any prep so time will tell to see if that will work but we got them black so that's all I'm worried about so a quick update on the engine block the machine shop actually found a new block so I brought them a timing cover once we get that timing cover back and the block back then we'll have to do some more paint work and Cerakote the timing cover to match all this stuff but Good news, they found a block. So they have everything they said, hopefully in a few days, they'll get it knocked out. Fingers crossed, they can actually machine it and bore it right this time. So if any of you guys are interested in any of those powder coat, Cerakote, anything we use today, I'll have links down in the description box where you can find it. Like I said, the Cerakote, you can find it at Cerakote.com. All this powder coat, you can find at Prismatic Powders. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want you to go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.